All right, let's see how you did. Now, this is a motion problem. And if you know your speed distance time formula, this shouldn't be a problem with you. Um, ang problema dito is uh, that some people just don't know where to start. You know, um, I do have some secret techniques on how to solve this really fast, but I teach that exclusively in the live review at Chaka's online review program. Uh, that is not what we're going to use today. I'm just going to show you the traditional method of solving this, which is using algebra. Now, this right here, Sabi Stanley drove for 9 hours at 70 kilometers per hour to get to the beach from his house. So, it's always good to have a visual representation of what it looks like. So, again, forgive me for not having a straight line. Um, but this is basically what Stanley did. So, from the house to the beach, nag travel daw siya. Now, papunta, one direction, yung towards the beach, ang ginawa niya ay 9 hours at 70 kph. Now, ang sabi, kailangan niya daw bumalik. If he only had 6 hours to drive back, so, ibig sabihin ko yan, yung nagmamadali siya, kailangan natapos niya in 6 hours, ang hinahanap ay how fast should she drive, should he drive on the trip home. So, that would be your X. Now, if you look at the picture visually, what you would see is that yung distance from house to the beach should be the same or pareho lang sa beach to the house. So, itong distance na to has to be the same. And uh, sa formula na speed distance time, ang speed is equal to distance over time, which means that the distance okay, is actually equal to speed times time. I have a lengthy discussion of this on my YouTube channel. The video lesson would be linked here dito sa post din na ito. So, ibig sabihin nun, itong distance na to, kasi ang distance na to, ito yung pahalang na linya na yan, equal siya dapat sa speed at time. So, so, itong sa unang distance na yan, if you notice, yung distance na yan, again, is the same as that. So, what you could do would be, the formula would be speed sub 1, t sub 1, is equal to speed sub 2, t sub 2. With s sub 1, the first speed, which is yung speed papunta, and ito naman, yung pabalik. Kaya lang, again, dito sa pabalik, dahil kahit pareho sila ng distance hindi binigay yung kanyang speed, Ang gagawin mo is substitute mo siya with x. So, the formula would look like this. Speed sub 1, which is 70 kilometers per hour. Okay? And then, t sub 1, which is 9 hours, is equal to speed sub 2, which is actually, hindi natin alam. So, magiging x siya. And then, you have 6 hours. So, now you have that as your kind of formula. So, 70 times 9, that is 630. That would be the kilometers, the distance. Nung... Uh, papunta, which would be the same dapat dito. This will be 6x. Okay? I-divide natin ngayon to sa 6 to find out kung ano yung kalalabasan ng x kasi ang gusto natin maiwan yung x mag-isa sa isang side. So, 630 divided by 6, that would be 1, 0, 5. So, the answer would be 105 kilometers per hour. Yan yung mag answer mo. Now, again, there's a different way to doing this, but... Um, that, that would be a good solution as well. So, the, the faster you get, the better it is. Ang goal natin is for you not to spend too much time on uh, one question sa exam para matapos na yung exam. So, if you want more of these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like my Facebook page. That way, uh, access ninyo yung mga free video lessons and other free resources that I have av available for you. So, never stop learning, guys. Aja-aja kaya and I'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.
Thank you.